friends, welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. I am so excited you are all here with me today. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brenda. And as always, you know, those of you who are returning, I love you very much. Today, I have a video for you just full of some fun, creative creations. <laughs> and so with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So for this DIY, I'm going to use these three uh, pumpkins that I got from Dollar Tree last year, but they had them again this year. I think they have them every year. My Waverly Chalk Paint in the color pumpkin, and then these three beautiful napkins that I just recently found at Dollar Tree. And I know other people are finding them because I'm seeing other crafters use them too. So I'm going to start off by just sanding off all of the glitter that's on all of the front of those pumpkins and then removing the tags off the back. After that, I took my Waverly Chalk Paint in the Color Pumpkin and gave them all two coats. Once they were dry, I took my Waverly Chalk Paint in the Color Elephant and painted the stems gray to match the stems on the napkins. Then I'm taking my Mod Podge and I'm going to cover the front of each one of those pumpkins with my Mod Podge and then set them aside to dry. And while they were drying, I took my napkins and I trimmed them down to fit on the front of my um, pumpkins. And this one, um, I had to kind of cut it down a little bit, cut all the excess down just to get it to look um, like I wanted it on top of my uh, pumpkin square there. So once I have this one done, I also uh, cut out the blue pumpkin on the other set of napkins and then a piece from the plaid and then I'm going to uh, since the pumpkins were dry with the Mod Podge I'm going to add my napkin and then I'm um, covering it with parchment paper and using my heat um, um, my heat press to uh, re activate that glue so that the napkins stick to it. Now this one, I cut the plaid trim that was on the bottom a little too much. And so I just cut off another piece and added it to the bottom and then added the pumpkin as well. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the parchment paper and my heat press. And then I do the same thing with the plaid, just add it on, add the parchment paper, add my heat press, that way it reactivates the glue and get and the napkins stick. And then again, I don't know if you noticed at the beginning, I did remove the second ply from all of those. Then I went with my um, Mod Podge and went over the top of each one of them again, just to protect that paper so it doesn't rip. And then once it was dry, I did the same thing with the parchment paper and with my heat press, just went over it all just to make sure there's no more wrinkles if there was which I don't think there was any anyways. So, um, and then I took my lighter here and I'm just burning off the extra napkin. And then I just took my little finger sander and any of it that needed to be sanded off, I just um, sanded it right off. And once I was done with that, I am going to um, take my Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Elephant and I wanted to do some dry brushing. I really wanted this to have more of a rustic feel to it. So I just kind of went around each one of my pumpkins with that color. Then I took four beads and I stuck them on some painter's tape and I am using my Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Dusk. And I am painting two of those beads with that dusk color and then I'm gonna paint the other two with the pumpkin. Once they were dry, I turned them over and I put the top part onto the um, tape there and then paint the bottom with the same colors and then dry them. So once they are all dry, I am going to string them on some twine using my tapestry needle. And I started with the orange, then the white, I kept two of them natural color and then the um, blue color there. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna wrap it around the middle um, stem of the pumpkin there, pud, pud, peduncle, peduncle, that's something like that is what it's called. <laughs> it's a funny name. Anyways, and I'm just going to tie a knot with that twine and then I'll push the beads up and, and I do a double knot on the bottom to keep those beads from falling off. And then I just trim off the excess string. And then I'm taking my wood glue 
I was getting to the bottom of it and it wasn't wanting to come out. So I'm using a brush here and I'm just gonna put it on the edge of my pumpkin and then add some hot glue on top and bottom and then attach both those pieces to the middle one. Then I took some rapia here and I'm making an, a knot. I put it around my stem per duncle. I think I'm saying that right. And then I'm just making another knot and then I just trim it down and then we have these cute little bows with raffia and I just love the way this turned out. You have to let me know what you think about this in the comment box below. Okay, I recently received this desk from Flexi Spot. It's a Kamar all-in-one standing desk with a glass top. I absolutely love this. It is so easy to put together. You just add the legs, screw them in, Oh, Oliver stopped to say hi. <laughs> and then add the feet, screw them in, turn it over and plug it in. And I absolutely love this desk. It is beautiful. It goes up and down. You can go up to almost five feet. So if you want to stand and um, use it, you can. It goes down. It has memory buttons so you can uh, set the memory that you want. It has USB ports and a C port. It also has a lock button so if you have kids you can lock those um, buttons so that they're not having to play with them. <laughs> but and it also has a drawer in the middle. I'm sorry I didn't show it to you but I love this desk. If you're interested there's a link in my description box where you can get a $30 discount. So make sure and check it out. Here is DIY number two. So for this DIY, I am going to use my um, Chalk Couture stencil. Now this is from October's Club Couture. Uh, my wood acorn there from Dollar Tree for these uh, planks from Dollar Tree. I am going to use my Waverly Antique Wax and my uh, chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree, and then my chalk couture paste in the color Shimmer Harvest and Rust. Both are new colors. So I'm gonna start off by, I remove the hangers from those plaques, and then I am adding my um, spackle, plaster, spackle to <laughs> the holes to cover them. Then I laid them all out, and I'm using my wood glue here and some craft sticks, some jumbo craft sticks I get from Walmart. I'm putting the wood glue on half of the craft stick, and then I'm gonna add hot glue to the other half of the craft stick. And then I'm gonna lay them on the back of my boards there to connect them all together. After that, I took my antique wax here and a paintbrush and I'm just brushing them all onto the, um, uh, to my picture here. And then after I have this all covered, I did kind of have a little too much. I hate pouring it out like you saw me do, but <laughs> anyways, I use a napkin or paper towel to wipe off the excess and I, think I did the back as well. No, I didn't do the back. Then I did this, um, I painted that acorn with my chalkboard paint. Now I'm going to use my chalk couture transfers. I am a designer. If you are ever interested in knowing more about it, you can ask me, but I am starting off by fuzzing both of my transfers. That way it doesn't stick too much to my um, surface here. I'm adding the words and I'm using my rust color chalk paste and I'm just going to go over uh, the words with my squeegee and then scrape off the excess and then I will add the next transfer and um, I am going to add bits of the rust and the shimmer harvest um, to the transfer and then mix it all together with my squeegee and I just love the way this came out. If you're interested in Chalk Couture, couture and interested in checking it out we have what's called a club couture <clears throat> and every month it's $21.99 a month and every month you get an exclusive transfer like this one here that I have which came with the words as well and then you get three single paste that um, go with this transfer and you would get that every month it's an exclusive transfer like i said nobody else can order it you can only get it if you are a member and it is a great way to kind of get your feet wet and get started and try it out now if you do sign up you do have to sign up for at least three months before you can cancel the subscription but after that three months you can um, cancel but i think it's just a great way to 
try it out and see if it's something you really like. I jumped in and became a designer before I ever tried it. And I love this stuff. I, it makes it look, it's so easy and it makes it look so high end and professional. And I absolutely love it. So if you have any questions, you can email me or, or comment and I'd be happy to answer any questions. Or you can just check out my link in the description box for my page and check that out as well. So after I washed off my transfers and it was dry, I used my hot glue here to hot glue the acorn onto my sign. I would have used wood glue, but I was out of paint brushes and for some reason it's not wanting to squirt out. So I used just hot glue. <laughs> and then I took some twine and I'm just gonna wrap it around both ends or both sides of my sign here. And I wrap it around about four times. And when I do it, I kinda, um, go over in the middle and then go the opposite end. I hope that makes sense, but I hope I'm explaining it correctly. I, hopefully, if not, you can see what I did there. Then I just hot glued the ends again. Then I'm taking some of these leaves. These just came off of a pick from Dollar Tree and I'm hot gluing them on around the top part of my acorn. Then I'm gonna make a finger bow, guys, and I'm gonna try and show you how I do it I still can't, I don't know. Hopefully you can watch this I and see how I did it, but it's really hard for me to explain. Um, but I have been practicing and I'm getting much better. I did this without even having to look at the video this time. But again, I can post a link to a video that where they demonstrated a little bit better for you if you want to check it out. But I just love this new way. Um, it's not really new, but I love this way of doing it. I love the way the bows come out. And then I did the same thing with the twine. I'm just gonna wrap, hold the end with my thumb and second finger, and then you wrap around the first finger and then the opposite direction around the second finger twice. And then you take that end and put it through on the very bottom of all those loops and then, um, bring it up around and into where it goes down. I don't know how to explain it, guys. Just <laughs> watch the other video if you need a better description. But anyways, I just hot glued those to the top and there it is. I absolutely love this. I love the way the rust and the shimmer harvest colors m are put together there. Just beautiful. You have to let me know what you think about this one as well. Okay, if you like to follow me, I am now on Pinterest and TikTok. I'm still learning how to add a video though. <laughs> but you can find links to those in my description box below. Now is the celebration of your recreation and I received uh, this email from Amy. Lovely, beautiful job on your projects, Amy, and she has her own channel. She's pretty new to this and her channel is Crafting with Amy, so check her out. And then Chrissy, beautiful. I love that blanket. It is so beautiful and I really love what you did with that wreath form. It's just, it's awesome. And then Bridget, she did these beautiful uh, DIYs. And I just say, if you pray, pray for her family. They're going through a rough time and they could really use your prayer. So great job, Bridget. Okay, if you have a creation or recreation that you would like me to showcase for you, you can send it to my email address that's listed there, or you can send it to me through Instagram or Facebook Messenger, and I would be happy to showcase them for you. So, you know what time it is? It is 10,000 giveaway. I'm gonna talk about this again. We're gonna, I'm gonna end up doing two giveaways, you guys. Actually, maybe three. But my sister made that stocking as uh, something that I can give away. So if you're interested in that, then I would say, um, here's the rules for it. I will have it in the description box as well. But if you're interested in the stocking as well, then I say to in the comments to add the word stocking and you'll be entered to win that. But if you just comment, you'll be entered to win a box full of goodies as well. So here's DIY number three. I will have again the rules in my description box if you're confused about it. So I got this at a thrift um, store. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but um, I got that, I think it was last year at a thrift store. And I'm going to use my Waverly chalk paints in the color white, elephant, pumpkin, dusk, and pink sky and oh my goodness you guys I did so much painting after this I was so tired of painting in fact I didn't have any more clean brushes by the time I was done but anyways I'm just removing I removed the hanger and I'm removing these um, twine pieces that they had going through this I think this was like some kind of 
sea sh- um or beachy theme. Well, it says on the beach on the front. I don't know what was all on it. But anyways, I painted the front with my Waverly chalk paint in the color white. Then I'm taking the color elephant and I'm just doing some distressing all over it. And after that, I started painting this little metal sign. Now, again, I got this at Dollar Tree last year and I am painting the bottom part, the cart with my elephant color. And I ended up going over the wheels and the handle because I Literally, I wanted it to be black on the wheels and the handle, but I just felt like it would be better to paint over it and then the raised areas I could paint with the black and it turned out a lot better than what I was expecting. Then I went through and painted the pumpkins with those colors and then I go over the raised areas of the wheels and the handle and color and paint it with my black. If you're new here, I want to say welcome. I am so glad you stopped by today. If you are enjoying today's video and if you like home decor on a budget, holiday decor, thrift flips, gift ideas, then this is your channel. So hit that red subscribe button and become part of our YouTube family. I would love to have you join and then make sure you comment and let me know you're new here. I love to get to know you and make sure you hit that notification bell and hit, um, uh, all and then you will be notified every time I upload a video which my normal upload times are Monday at 5 central but I do like to participate in different challenges throughout the week so that way if you hit the notification bell you'll be notified about those times and then I'll also you guys make sure you hit that like button and comment because we all know that helps my channel grow and I'm ready to hit 20,000 but <laughs> uh, oh yeah I, we could do it I could do it with your guys' help if you help me out by sending out my video to others to see. That would be amazing. But I know it'll probably take a little more time, but that's okay. Okay, so here I am just um, painting my wheels. And as you see, I painted the handle there too. Then after this, I am going to take um, on my previous uh, video, the what would you make video, I had printed out uh, the word pumpkin. Well, this was the inside part of the word that I had to weed off and I thought it'd be perfect to keep it and use it. So I decided to use it on here. So I just um, put them on this metal cart wagon wagon <laughs> and then once I was done I just covered the whole thing with Mod Podge to protect it since it is metal. Then I used a black Sharpie and I'm just writing the word hello on top right above the word pumpkin. Then I took some tumbling tower blocks that I had in my stash. They were already painted and I am just using my hot glue here and I'm hot gluing them to the board. Now after that I'm going to use my fix all glue and some hot glue on the top of those tumbling tower blocks to attach that metal sign but honestly don't even try the metal the hot glue because it really didn't work. I ended up having to kind of take this off because I tried to hang it too soon and it was falling off. So I ended up putting more of the E6000, or no, fix all glue, and then adding the metal to it, the wagon, and then I added something heavy and just left it overnight. That way um, I was for sure it was gonna stick up because that hot glue didn't work at all. So uh, yeah, and I knew better, but I don't know why. I was just in a hurry, I guess. After that, I, I added the hanger and then, um, I added some bows. I made some more finger bows just like I did on the previous uh, project and added them to the top. And then I'm just taking some more twine and hot gluing it right along the top part of uh, this, uh, of the wagon. And that's all there was for this one. I really love it. You have to let me know what you think about it as well. Oh, I forgot I added some of these pumpkins that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby. Um, so here is uh, the final reveal of this project. Now, if I've had some several of you ask me about the community page um, where I will be announcing the winner. I will sh at the very end of this, I will show you just a little demonstration of where you can look for that. But I will also give you guys comments on um, your comment that you're the winner too if you win. So anyways, here's the final reveal. Again, I want to thank FlexiSpot for the desk. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. I absolutely love it. And I hope you check them out if you're in the need for a desk. 
And I will be back on Saturday with my first Christmas DIYs, you guys. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. So make sure you comment to be entered into the giveaway. And if you want that stocking, comment the word stocking as well. And with all that being said, you guys have a blessed week and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.